Hello, a very full small shed shop. Fairly, fairly full here in the shop with a mix of bikes that are mine, bikes that are friends that I'm working on, bikes that are sold that either need to have parts taken off of them or parts put on so that they can go. But our main focus, the main attraction, if you will, for the day is this. The return and phase one of the upgrade modernized 650B swap of our 2013 Felt Compulsion LT50 All Mountain Trail Bike. Now I anticipate this phase one to be fairly involved. We are going to be taking on a lot here. And to make it happen, I do have to rob some parts from our Poseidon Redwood and Angela's mountain bike nestled in there deep into the midst of all these bikes. It'll donate its front wheel just, just for the weekend. Those just happen to be the only 650B wheels that have the proper hubs and obviously being 650B, the only proper diameter for what it is that we're looking to do here. New wheels will be on their way. I just don't know what I want them to be yet. But what we do have that is going to be permanent on this bike is this stuff. Bars, stem, and a somewhat sponsored Suntour Aeon fork, black stanchions, 35 mil, boost axle spacing, 650B, perfect for our swap that we're doing right now. So I kind of purposely reached out to Suntour for this fork. I wanted to do this exercise, but I wanted to do it with the unusual suspects. I wanted to do it with stuff that's not normally seen on bikes very often. And considering Suntour makes fantastic high quality stuff for a lot less money than the competitors do, say for example, what's on there now, it seemed like a good fit. They were on board to help out. They didn't, uh, they didn't necessarily donate the fork for free, but they did give the channel a smoking deal so that we can have a cool fork on there for not too much money to make this content. So Suntour, thank you. I hope I do you proud. The bars, we've talked about these enough. Donated to the channel months ago by Brian, uh, along with the dropper posts and the pedals that are on this bike right now. So thank you, Brian. Your support has gone a long way to make two, two mountain bike projects happen here on the channel. Thank you. So obviously before we get started, we have to get a before shot so that we can contrast and compare the before and after. That's what we're all here for, isn't it? Okay, let's see if we can fix this a little bit. So here's a fun comparison. The Suntour, though it is a 10 millimeter shorter travel fork, it looks like it's like a tiny, tiny little bit taller overall, which will have a minuscule impact on head tube angle um, probably not something that I'll ever notice, but still kind of fun to compare and contrast. Believe it or not, I am not going to slam this. Since everything in the headset fork department is taken apart, this is just a good time to take the bearings out, clean out all the races, and uh, pack it with some fresh grease. These still feel really good. Okay, I would be lying if I said this isn't a source of a little bit of anxiety for this project. Um, swapping forks means uh, there's possibly different fitment issues when it comes to brake rotor size. We'll see. We'll see if what I had works with this 200, 200 millimeter rotor. So right now with the adapter, like the post adapter that I have on, the caliper is actually too far away from the rotor, which is a good problem because I will take that adapter out and build up with like brake pad washers, what I might need to make sure that it's at the right spot. Okay, okay, okay. This is the front complete. This would be like a mullet setup. It does look cool. Yeah, I do want to play with it, but 
We set out at the start of this to do both wheels. The rear is a lot easier than the front. So we're gonna keep going along, but don't think for a second that at some point we're not doing something with a 26 inch rear wheel and a 27 and a half front. We're gonna. Okay, Poseidon, I just need that rear wheel just for the weekend. Okay, that is a full 650B swap ready in a way to be ridden. As a matter of fact, if I needed to, I would leave it like this, but this all went pretty good. I've got a little bit of time, so I wanna try. The MicroShift cassette that is on the Poseidon is like a fairly wide range. I believe it goes up to like 46 or 47 or 48. And I, in this huge mess that we have going on right here, have a Rival One road derailleur that I know from experience will handle a pretty significant cassette. It'll clear with a 40 tooth chain ring, a 46 tooth cassette. So my thought is, though it is road, because road, 10 speed, and 11 speed are compatible with each other, and all 10 speed SRAM stuff is compatible with each other, I've got a 10 speed mountain bike shifter from SRAM, an 11 speed road derailleur, and a 10 speed wide range cassette. This could work. This could put us into a well-working clutched rear derailleur and get rid of the beat up X9. That's uh, good enough for what I need it for. I also, for those of you who do know a thing or two about full suspension bikes, I took the shock out of the linkage and let it drop all the way down just to see where the chain wrap would be at. We're still good. Good amount of capacity left there when we were on the 3448. Happy with that. And then I also pulled all of the air out of the shock just to see where it would realistically end up if and when we do bottom out the suspension. I'm gonna take the other tire off the front of the Poseidon and put it onto this wheel so that we have matching big tires for the plans that we have for this weekend coming up. And now, finally, after a huge mess, I present to you phase one of Trail Bike 650B Swap. This is the after versus the before. So we managed to use a road rear derailleur for a 10-speed microshift 11 through to 48 cassette. Swapped a Suntour Aeon 35 650B Boost fork onto here with the front wheel off of Angela's mountain bike. The stem and handlebar that was donated to the channel many, many moons ago, along with the gray grips that are really, really comfy. No dropper post yet because it's on its way. The rear wheel is from the Poseidon Redwood tires, both from the Poseidon Redwood. Wire bead tubeless rims set up tubeless. I don't know how, I don't, I don't know how reliable that's gonna be, so I'm gonna bring tubes with me. Notable, we did not do anything with bushings yet, so the bike is still going to be loud. Personally, if nothing else mattered, I just like the way the 650B wheels look better proportion-wise than the 26s ever did. I found the 26s looked kind of funny underneath as much bike as there was here. For a one-day thrash, I think we've got a good proof of concept here. Colin and myself, we're gonna go ride in like the Truro area tomorrow, and then we're gonna go bike parking Sunday. And I'm bringing this with me for the entire time. Okay, thanks for joining. Uh, for some of you, I hope this is a, a good uh, scratch of the itch when it comes to mountain bike content. I expect to do like a lot more with this bike in the, uh, in the coming days, weeks, months even.